You'd think we'd know everything about the human brain by now. After all, it's been scanned, sliced, mapped, and studied for centuries. But in a surprising twist, scientists have just identified what appears to be a completely new part of the brain, one that may be key to how we move, adapt, and even recover from injury. It's called the subparietal zone, and it was hiding deep beneath the outer layers of brain tissue, right near where we integrate sensory data and control physical movement. For decades, it's been assumed this region was already accounted for. But with new ultra-high resolution imaging tools, researchers noticed something strange. A zone with a unique cell structure that didn't match any known map. So they dug deeper. And what they found might actually reshape how we treat brain injuries, neurodegenerative diseases, and even conditions like ADHD or stroke recovery. The cells in this newly discovered region seem to act like a central switchboard, helping route signals between movement, planning, and perception. In other words, it may be where your brain decides how to act based on what it senses around you. Researchers say this zone works kind of like a real-time translator. It takes in what your eyes see, what your ears hear, and how your body is positioned, and then helps the rest of your brain decide what to do with that information. Whether you're dodging a flying object, balancing on a curb, or just reacting to a conversation, this area might be behind your lightning-fast reactions. So why are we only finding it now? Simple, the tools weren't powerful enough. This part of the brain sits so deep and blends so well into nearby tissue that traditional scans glossed right over it. But the latest MRI and AI-assisted imaging revealed its signature pattern. And once scientists spotted it, labs around the world started confirming the same thing. The implications are massive. Brain surgeons are already studying whether targeting this zone could improve outcomes for people with movement disorders. Therapists wonder if it might help explain certain cognitive delays. And researchers are asking if this zone could even be trained, just like a muscle, to help improve balance, coordination, or learning speed. One scientist described it as finding a missing piece of the brain's GPS, a region that helps link where you are with what you're doing. That link could be especially important in rehab settings, where patients relearn how to walk or regain motor control after injury. Interestingly, some believe this discovery could also help us understand why some people have unusually fast reflexes or spatial awareness. If this zone is more active or better connected in certain individuals, it might explain why some people are naturally better at sports, driving, or even music. The subparietal zone might also play a role in how we adapt to new environments. Imagine walking into a crowded, noisy room. Your brain immediately figures out where you are, who's around you, how to navigate the space, and what to do next. This zone may help coordinate that instant sense of orientation, which could explain why some people adapt quickly to chaos while others freeze up or feel overwhelmed. Early research also suggests this area may be involved in sensory motor learning, the kind of learning we use when mastering a new skill like dancing, typing, or playing an instrument. That raises big questions about how we teach motor skills and whether tapping into this region more directly could accelerate how fast we learn. Another fascinating angle? This zone may even influence how well we sync our movements with others, something called interpersonal synchrony. It's what makes dancers move together, athletes pass smoothly, or people subconsciously mirror body language in a conversation. Understanding this region could open new doors in social neuroscience and therapy. And of course, there's still so much we don't know. The brain remains one of the last great frontiers in human biology. But findings like this prove that even in 2025, we're still uncovering hidden pieces of what makes us, us. If this fascinates you, check out our video titled, Scientists Just Found a Hidden Organ in Your Body, and It's Shocking. It's another incredible example of how much is still being discovered inside our own bodies and how those breakthroughs could shape the future of science and medicine.